Today we present. Today we present. Today we present. This, the cap who ran. No, the cap which ran. The cat who ran. <clears throat> we shall present today a poem play, The Cat Who Ran by Naoko Kudo. The Cat Who Ran by Naoko Kudo. The Cat Who Ran by Naoko Kudo. Shall we see it? Ran. 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 Was born this year and. A very small kitten. A very small. A very small kitten. In the snowy country. In the snowy country. In the snowy country. In a small village surrounded by mountains. Surrounded by mountains. In a small village surrounded by mountains. Okay. Soft and fluffy. Soft and fluffy. Soft and fluffy. Black for shining. Shining. Shining carefree. 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 Ran, played, and grew. <laughs> the Earth Mother tells the story of the birth of Ran. Zoom! Da 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 On a day when the snow was sliding down the faraway mountainside, Ran was born. Meow! I embraced Ran and his brothers and his sisters as his mother nursed them on my soft heart all night long. His mother licked his wet black fur. Ran truly enjoyed his first sleep in this world. Ran's small heart beat in his small body like a small drum, like an acorn. I am spring and always sleepy. Many small lives have just been born on my body this day, and soon they are running all over me. Soon, Ran too began to run around my body, and his paws were soft and cold and ticklish. <laughs> and whenever he did this, I laughed. When Ran was born, it, it was, was cold, cold all around. around. There was snow. Here, here and there, there and here. here. After one month, in this snowy village, spring really came. The tightly closed bud of a zuki flower burst into blossom and became a round ball-shaped flower. Black soil in the field was warmed by the sun and began to steam. suddenly became alive. The kittens became more and more energetic. Except for one kitten, the small black kitten, Ran. Ran became unhappy and sad at this time. The cabbage moth continues the story of Ran. He was like my younger brother. He was fun to tease him. When I flirted about him, he also flirted his eyes and ears, then he became dizzy. No, I wasn't scared of him at all. He tried to touch my wings, but he couldn't. Not even their tips. He oh. was so funny. He waved his paw at me as if he was saying, Come here. Come here. But then, 
he became unhappy and sad. So Ivan tried to get close his nose, so close and almost perch on it. Oh, I could see the reflection of my flutterings in his eyes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo. But he couldn't see me at all. He seemed to look into himself. Why was he so unhappy and sad? Rand was a shy kitten. Shy? His movements were slow. Slow? Whatever he did, he came last. Last? Last. While you can teach a kitten many things, a kitten can also learn by itself as well. Such as playing with other kittens. Pretending to sharpen one's ah, claws. Ran didn't learn anything at uh, all. When Ran was very young, his mother thought, Ran is not like the other kittens. He is a strange kitten. She laughed and didn't take it seriously. But once the real train to be a cat started, the difference between Ran and the other kittens became clearer and clearer. In the beginning, his mother said, Take your time. She cheered him up. Or she asked, Hey, what are you doing? She scolded him. She gave him instructions like walk softly. I walk softly. Hide yourself. Hide myself. Don't be found. <clears throat> I'm not found. And make a somersault in midair. Made it. <clears throat> I'm not found. At first she tried to teach him such things. Now she only sighed. Just for once, I'd like to see you jump up into the air like a streak of lightning. If only you could. That became his mother's often repeated phrase. One, two, one, two. Ha, ha, ring, ring, ring. The mother of a hare talks in confidence. Oh my, how hard it is to be a mother. Mom, I'm hungry. I must raise my children well. Open your mouths wide. I must pay attention to my children all the time. I must always be on the lookout to keep them from danger. Stop that. And then I must lick their fur until it is clean and shiny. And much more. I have to teach them the old customs so that they can be independent in the future. What old customs? Well, for example, I start by teaching them the art of straining ears. Go! The art of hiding in the grass, go! I teach them one by one. When they grow older, I introduce a really difficult one. The art of beating a drum with the hind legs. <coughs> I am so pleased when they do well. I knew what Rand's mother was doing because I saw them from a distance. She tried so hard to teach Rand their old customs, but he couldn't learn them. He didn't improve. He tried so hard. He was so small. Nothing helped. Uh, finally, she gave up. She gave up teaching him, but she loved him dearly even if he was small and slow. Sometimes she just hugged him without saying a word. She looked at him lovingly with her beautiful, deep eyes. Let's go! Hop, hop, run, run, run! That is why Ran was unhappy and sad. When Ran was with the other kittens, in the special field where they learnt the old customs, near the Hashiman Shrine, he was a bother to them. He did not get better in anything at all. Am I stupid? Oh, I should learn these things by myself as not to worry them. Shouldn't I? <clears throat> I've got it. I practice by myself from today's on. Well, 
well, well, I shall just work harder. Well then, today Ren has come. And he's on to the special field where they learn the old customs. It was in the shade of the big Zalkova elm tree. There was white clover all around. It was a pleasant field. The other kittens were comfortably taking a nap, burying their faces on their mother's tummy. Deep silence reigned over the field. The leaves in the trees trembled in the wind. A clump. Ran tried to make a somersault in midair. Midair. Clump. Ran did not do well. Ran made a big noise. Every time he fell. Clump. He was perspiring heavily because he tried this over and over again. <laughs> the report of the ant who watched Ran at practice. At that time, I was taking a nap. It was in the middle of my work, but it felt so good in the forest of white clover. Suddenly, I jumped up in surprise and ran to the edge of the pile. What? What? What happened? What? What? What happened? Something had happened, but what? Moran had fallen down. Why? He seemed so serious, but he looked so funny. I couldn't help but laughing. Yuck, 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 yuck. I'm sorry, but he did not stop practicing. Nobody knew how many times he fell down. He would set his face, give a quick look at the sky, lower his legs, and call out, Yo! Many, many, many times. Many, many, many times. Why, he kept practicing and he didn't get any better at all. In fact, I felt sorry for him. Really? That's true. My work, I took the day off because of Ram. I watched him until he finally went to the pool. Rand decided to take a break at the place where the cats went to drink. This place was surrounded by silverberry trees and azaleas. The spring water had formed a puddle which slowly became a small pool. Wow, it looks cold and refreshing. Rand went to drink the water. Hey you, what do you think you're doing? Ran heard a voice coming out of the water. It was very upset. And Ran said, Yes, who's there? And he jumped back in surprise and looked around for the boys. And you could see something under the dead leaves at the bottom of the pool. There was a small fish looking inquisitively at Ran from the bottom of the pool. You cats are so rude. You come here to drink? And make a noise without asking me first? Well, listen, this pool is my place, so don't you ever come here again without asking me first again, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. Ran was ashamed and bowed to the fish. Sorry. I knew Ran was small and slow and had trouble learning things. But today, Ran was on his own. So I was bold and shouted at him. If the other cats had been there, I would have never done so. Because if once they found you, they would have eaten me up. But that isn't what happened today. Ran apologized so much. Why, he even bowed to me too. He's such an unusual cat. The fish decided to swim up to the surface of the water to look closely at Ran. I sat quietly and stared at the fish with my eyes wide open. He didn't look like an ordinary cat, but a most exceptional one. Oh my, he has the most beautiful eyes and seems such a kind fellow. Did I say too much a while ago? <laughs> well, it was me who said the a fish short while spoke ago to Ran a little more kindly. kindly. I, I, I was well, Ran politely bowed to the fish nicely, again. Then you like fish moved his fans in a firm manner. Um, 
about? I'm it's okay. Uh, so you're thirsty, okay. aren't you? Please you're have a drink. Did you say have a drink? Yes, I did. Please help yourself. Rand formally bowed to the fish once again. The fish watched Rand as he drank the water with such enjoyment. Somehow this pleased him. Well then, I could like this cat. The fish said this in his heart. Landscape that the Zelkova elm tree overlooks. Each morning comes. Each morning comes. Each morning comes. The new mornings come again. There are countless mornings going on slowly around me. I observe the stories around me. I absorb the happenings of the day through my fingertips in the sprays of my flowers. On this particular day, I watched Red and the fish meet each other. At the same time, I could see Red's brothers taking a nap under the shade of the tree over there. It was quiet in the early afternoon. Rand's mother sometimes stretched her neck and looked around. She seemed to look for Rand. I don't think she knew how much Rand had been practicing here by himself. At first, I looked down on them and wondered if I should let her know where he was. But instead, I decided to leave them as they were. Why? Because the lonely cat and the lonely fish were becoming friends at the poolside. I knew this through the tips of my fingers. That is why I decided to leave them as they were. I have stood in this field for such a long time. I know these things. As the fish hoped, we, we became, became best, best friends. friends. Ran, I stopped learning the old customs because it was so much more fun playing with the fish. Ran only came to the pool when no one else was there. I played with the fish and talked to him. The fish could hardly wait for Ran. I jumped out of the water and looked for Ran. I wish Ran would visit more often. Spring, summer, autumn. Every time they met, Ran and the fish. They were like two sides of the same paper. Their hearts were close together. Between the man and the fish. They had their experiences and shared their memories one after another. For example, on one day, when Tutuji, the azalea tree, burst into pink flower, the fish said to Ray, To tell the truth, I don't really know what kind of fish I am. I could be a small fish or something else. And then he dropped his head inside. At that, Rand immediately said, In that case, you can be any kind of fish, right? What kind of fish would you like to be? Well, I'd like to be a carp. Then you're a carp from now on. 
You're a magnificent young carp. A magnificent young carp? If that were so, then I would be brave enough to travel all over the world covered in my golden scales. That would be great. The fish smiled. Whenever he smiled, the bubbles came out of his mouth. <laughs> The frog said to the fish, Hey, gecko, gecko. The frog croaked loudly. The fish and I had been friends since I was a cat. At first, he was like my elder brother. But then, when I became a frog, he and I were equal because I was as tall as he. But ever since he and Rat became friends, he suddenly became more grown up. The other day when I jumped up to him, he said, Hey, I want to tell you my secret. I'm a magnificent young car. Then he showed up and jumped out of the wall. Wow, I couldn't believe how lively he was. Spread his tail and stretched his wings as wide as he could, as if he was shouting, And I laughed out aloud. But although he was so small, he really, really looked like something special. I felt he might be. <clears throat> he was a magnificent young car. Gecko, gecko, gecko. Then one early morning, as dawn lifted the night like a fog lifts from the land, Ram began to worry. I look like a cat, but my mind and body aren't like a cat. I might be something strange. What do you think? Well, I don't think so, but if that's the case, then you can be anything you wish. What would you like to be? Well... Cloud in the sky? I want to be a cloud. Well then, you are a cloud from now on. You are a fluffy, fleecy cloud. Well, I'm a fleecy cloud. Shining and fluffy. You are a fleecy cloud racing, racing across the sky. Rand closed his eyes, curled himself up, and kept still imagining he was a small cloud. The story of the wind looking for Rand and not recognizing him. I remember very well a cat who looked like a cloud. Was that Bran? I do lots of jobs for the clouds. One job is looking after the clouds. It looks easy, but it is quite hard. One day I was chasing around the sky on the way to take a cluster of clouds from the west to the east when I looked down on the ground and saw a cloud which had lost its way in the grass. Oh no, I thought. I rushed down and got close. I saw it was red. Sometimes I play in the trees and stay there a while. I rushed down. Red was sleeping so soundly, just like a cloud. He was fluffy and curled up and looking so cute. He half woke up, squeezed his front paws, and rolled over on his other side. From then on, I looked out for Rand. Often, he would play with the mist and pat it like a ball. And on another day, non-stop somersaults. The fish performed endless somersaults for Rand, who was fascinated. I watched and watched and watched and watched until I felt dizzy. And on 
another day. Pika. <laughs> After a shower of rain. And it stopped. They saw a rainbow in the clear sky. The far away place. What is it like? We talked about it for a long, long time. And on another day, the sunflower continues the story of Ran. <laughs> Was Ren really small and slow with trouble learning things? I knew Ren. He was a cat who jumped like a ball. I was a cat who jumped like a ball. I think he had grown without realizing it while playing with the fish. I don't remember when, but Ren came up to me. He jumped so high in the air. He jumped so high in the air. He looked down on me. I look down on him. It was on his way home after playing with the fish. Then he smiled and immediately went on his way. On my way. He jumped over me. You know, I'm very tall. Ordinary cats can't do that. That was why I was so surprised. Yes, I could see how much he I had grown. Akabomba, 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 Akabomba. John came up. John came up. But And on another day. Ran and the fish were so involved playing tag that Ran slipped into the pool. The fish broke out laughing. <laughs> and on another day, Ran crept up to the fish who was taking a nap. Ran surprised the fish so much that he broke out in fright. <sighs> and Ran broke out laughing. And on another day, the turtle dove sang to the fish. It is true to say Ran grew a lot, but the fish changed more than Ran. Before, when he was bored in the pool, the only time he opened his mouth was to yawn and sigh. He would draw his body in tightly around himself, look around blankly and say, fun. But after he met Ran, he changed so much. He looked about as much as he could. His scales sparkled. And now, when he opened his mouth, it was to laugh from the very bottom of his heart. Why was this? Because the fish had a friend and the friend was a cat. So, I wrote the words and music for the song of the fish. Don't you think my eyes?
simply said, thank you. These joyful days only lasted until winter. The fish was found. The other cats had finally found the fish. This news was immediately related to the mother. And then the mother decided to have the, the contest, contest to catch, catch the fish. fish. She decided that there would be a fishing contest as a final test for her children. Hide. The story of the honeybee passing by. I was on my way back home after collecting honey when I passed over the pool and heard a noise. I looked down and there was Rand's mother and her kittens surrounding the pool. They were putting their paws into the water. Of course, Rand was there too, but he was tense and sat apart from them. His black fur seemed to fade. His whole body looked pale. He looked like a gray stone. I immediately understood what had happened, so I buzzed down and whispered something to him. Rand tried to say something to me, but he couldn't. He was trembling with emotion. The contest to catch the fish will be held on the next night with a full moon. Ran and the fish continued to meet each other, but they couldn't look at each other and scarcely spoke. Ran, I've been thinking very hard. I... I don't know what to do. Uh, The days when the waterweed watched the fish. At that time, the fish became a stone. He became a hard, cold stone. On the next day, the fish was still a stone. Day after day, he was a stone. Until one day, when he opened his mouth and blew just once. When the one bubble burst out of the water, his sigh was scattered into the air, and then he became a stone again. But this time, he was not a hard, cold stone, but a quiet and calm stone. Until at last there came the night with the full moon. At dusk before that day, the time when the silver dew drops trembled on all the leaves of the Japanese pampas grasses in the field. Ran went to the fish, but could not say anything. Ran sat near the fish and remained silent for a long time. I was moving back and forth in the bottom of the pool. And then the fish swam to the surface of the water and spoke clearly to Ran. Ran, I think it's for the best. I know I'm not a carp. I know I'd like to end my life as a small fish like this. So it's okay that tomorrow will be my last day. No, it's not okay. You're a carp, a magnificent young carp. I'm a fleecy cloud, you told me that. Yes, I did. Thank you. Yes, I'm a magnificent young carp. And you're a fleecy cloud. Yes, it could be so. But Ran, the truth is that I will be eaten tomorrow. Actually, I've decided that I'd like to be eaten with 
dignity. I've been thinking and thinking and finally decided this. That, that can't be. Rand was choking with tears and unable to speak further. He knew full well that tomorrow the fish would be eaten by the other cats. going to eat me, then I want it to be you. No. No. How can you say such a thing? Rand stepped back. Sawa! Sawa! The Japanese pampas grass is moving. Sawa! Sawa! When the Japanese pampas grass leaned towards the pool, it moved in unison and whispered, Sawa! Did you hear what the fish said? Yes, yes I, I heard, heard it. it, I heard it, I heard it. What does it mean? What, 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 what did the fish say to Ran? To Ran, to Ran, to Ran. Ran is the fish, the, the fish, fish, the, the fish, fish, the fish. All the Japanese pampas grass whispered to each other. The murmur of their voices rose and spread. Such a thing. Ah, 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 such a thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Why? Why, why, why? I don't understand it. Don't, don't, don't. don't, don't. don't. Each Japanese pampas grass don't, repeat it. Don't, 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 don't. don't, 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 don't. Again don't, and again, don't, they move don't, like don't, waves. Don't, fish looked intently at Ran and then said with a little smile. You know, I don't think it's so bad for me to be such a small fish after all. of the weasel who followed Ran. Yes, from my hiding place I witnessed the whole thing between Ran and the fish. Knowing what had taken place, I quietly followed him. Ran slowly made his way into the deep mountains behind the Hashiman shrine. He looked strangely calm, but after he had talked with the fish, any nervousness disappeared. So that when he came upon the spirits of the universe trembling in the moonlight, he peacefully sat in front of them. It was as though he saw them for the first time. He then came to the Zalkova elm tree. He rubbed his head, his back, 
his tail, his whole body against his trunk. He was deeply moved by its memories. He then came upon the deep mountains. From there, he could look down onto the pool that shone like a silver mirror in the shining moonlight. Ran looked like a silver ornament in the brilliant light. I don't know how long time passed. I had been dozing, but suddenly I woke in an instant. Ran sped off like an arrow into the far distance, and I tried to follow him, but I couldn't. He went so fast. Where was he going? What for? Finally, night came. The full moon was rising. It was a sign to start the contest. The kittens confronted the fish wielding a stick as taught to them by their mother. Not to be outdone, the fish fought hard against them. First to one kitten, and the next one. Some kittens went back to their mother because they were unable to fight any further. They were soaked to the skin and panting. The fish was seriously injured. He almost felt like passing out and floating to the surface, but whenever this happened, he said to himself, land. He kept his fighting spirit going. The pool describes the scene of the night with the full moon. Inside me was like a storm. In my depths, the fish was like lightning. lightning. The surroundings were like flame. flame. The eyes of the running cats were glittering. The fish fought as hard as he could. The cats fought as hard as they could. Between them, I too fought hard. Fought hard. Fought hard. Finally, it was Rand's turn. Until yesterday, I was a cat who didn't know what to do. Rand walked with firm steps and knelt by the pool. He whispered to the fish, I'm here now. I tried to catch you as much as I could with all my power and love. Can you hear me? Can you? It's me. Yes, I can hear you. I'm at the bottom of the pool, smiling, but just a little. And then the fish made himself ready to fight valiantly. I gazed at the fish and started running around the pool. At first he ran slowly. And then gradually he ran faster and faster. Finally he ran as fast as he could until he looked like a shining black spiral. The other cats were astonished. We had never seen such a way to catch a fish. I saw it. I witnessed it. Whenever I remember it, my heart beat so fast. Can you hear it? Toku 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 Ran, ran, and ran, and ran. Guru, 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 guru. One hundred times. One thousand times. Guru, 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 guru. Ten thousand times. One million times. Ran, ran, and ran. I saw this astounding thing. I created the black spiral, which moved fast and fast and bright and brighter. The water of the pool rose higher and higher. Ran, you have found an amazing way, better than any of the other cats. Nobody could see me anymore. The black spiral shone brilliantly. I was the black spiral, which exploded into a shower of sparks. Every time they exploded, they became silver, purple. Sometimes they glittered, blazing orange. The other cats held their breath and watched in fascination. <gasps> I could only hear Rand's breath like a wind. No, the wind was really blowing. The water of the pool looked like a storm. The water of the pool billowed. It foamed. Suddenly in a moment. Rand made the spiral narrow while continuing to run at full speed. The water of the pool spiral twisted. Rose up. The water of the pool rose up higher and higher and higher now! Rand cried out, exerting all his energy. The water of the pool burst into the sky like a whirlwind! It burst into spray. And I was on top of the spray. The fish sparkled in bright light. At that very moment, I stopped still. I had done it. I did it. For the fish. For their memories in spring in summer and autumn. I did what I had to do, as tenderly as I could, with all my love. 
At last, Rand cried in his heart. At last. The fish repeated looking deeply at Rand. I softly landed back on the ground. In front of the other cats. There was speechless. Rand stared at us with his brilliant eyes. I quickly turned and ran at once to the end of the world. To the end of the world. To the end of the world. What's Rand doing right now? What's Rand doing now? Do you think Rand is still running with, with the, the fish? fish?